Just a day after the Union Cabinet cleared Chandrayaan 4, Indian Space Station and doubled Gaganyaan budget, CNN News 18 gets you this sneak peek into how India's space station will look and the proposed design for Chandrayaan 4 launcher and lander module. Speaking exclusively to CNN News 18, Director of a Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Dr. Unni Krishan Nair, says that India will assemble the space station in multiple launches and much before that an Indian astronaut will be in space as a part of the Gaganyaan mission. One of India's most ambitious space project is the Bharatiya Antariksh station, India's space station and this is the model that ISRO has displayed. This is something that has already been submitted to the government, the design model of this, and uh, ISRO is waiting for approval. And by 2035, ISRO plans to put up this space station in low Earth orbit, and this will take place in multiple launches. This whole setup has to be put up in space uh, after taking uh, all these objects in multiple launches by ISRO. What this essentially will do is that uh, this space, space station will be set up and just like any other space station, including the International Space Station, this will have a docking system where Indian astronauts uh, will be able to reach low Earth orbit in space and then enter the space station and spend multiple time, multiple days there. In fact, uh, there are newer technologies that uh, ISRO plans to have in this uh, space station. Uh, they are saying that this new technology would be on orbit refueling, which means that there could be extended period of uh, functioning of this uh, space station. They are also saying that uh, it will have a micro meteoroid protection system. That's a hazard that any space station or satellite has. They are saying it will have a protection system. It will also have space habitat design, radiation monitoring and protection, and robotic support elements. Sir, a lot of focus on Gaganyaan. Where do things stand, sir? Several tests that's, that have been carried out. Crucial one coming up in December. Yeah, Gaganyaan, uh, it Gaganyaan has many, uh, what you call as test uh, missions, like test vehicle mission, unmanned missions. Before we put, uh, we were we have the manned mission. So these are all activities are going on for parachute testing with the uh, dropping from helicopter from aircraft, and also getting preparing the uh, subsystems for the first unmanned mission, and uh, uh, the subsequent unmanned missions. Anyway, subsystems are getting ready. So all these activities are going on in full steam. Okay. So the obviously the next focus has been around the. India's Bharat uh, Antariksh station, India's space station. Uh, we understand the model is before the government now for approval. What really stands out, sir, from whatever you've seen so far? No, that is, uh, see, if you want to have a long duration stay in a weightlessness condition, we cannot use a small capsule. We need a, a, a huge space where our other facilities are available, like a life support system. You need to have a, a, a exercise and other th daily you know, systems like waste management. So it's like a house in space. So it has to be more volume. And uh, again, it is you cannot launch a space station in one uh, launch vehicle. Like, you know, the International Space Station. There are so many space shuttle launches as well as Russian launches to build it. Well, with all those news and updates, it's a wrap from our side. Stay informed and stay tuned to CNN News 18. Thanks for watching.